All right, so continue. Um, okay. We are looking yes. at the uh, uh, super learner paper. And uh, um, Dr. Chu is trying to summarize a flow diagram of the procedure of uh, uh, deep learning using neural networks. Yeah, so I'm just trying to understand what they actually do. So they repeat mm -hmm. um, all the iterations. So you first update uh, W, the weights, and then you update maybe the architecture. Mm -hmm. And then look at uh, error on, on which fold? On um, the uh, validation set. On fold one. one. Yeah, fold one. Wait, I mean, you... that's that's weird. I mean, no, you start do initial guess first. Yeah, you yeah you initialize. Uh... Initialize on the weight W. Uh, yeah. And uh, pick up the uh, uh, architecture A from a grid point. There are okay. many, many, there's a grid. Yeah. And yeah. you you select uh, along the grid um, mm -hmm. points uh, uh -huh. for A, architecture A. Mm -hmm. Then you repeat, yeah, then you repeat. You repeat. Then, then you do error back plot. The, uh, okay, and the error error back plot. The error black prop is uh, uh, from a uh, Y, which is the, this one. Uh, wait, here, when you update these, you're using data. Yeah, the output, the output one? is a one. Is the one the... in Y. Not V, not V. Not no, V. Not one, two, two. Well, it's then just, why are you? Just Y, Y is given, like super Yeah, yeah, data. yeah, I know it's given. So but, it's but the I mean... iteration from the block one in Y. If if you're only looking at data and and what like where am I using this part of the data in the process to the V? No, V like is for step. V is for validation, validation. But right? Not for testing. So they right, assume right. that this all the data here with has X Y X Y X Y X Y. Uh -huh. Yeah. So the Y is already in the training data. Yeah. If it's a supervised learning. Yes, I'm reinforce talking about the learning, reinforce learning. They yeah. have uh, they have uh, yeah. value. So, okay, let, let's focus on the simplest case: okay. uh, uh, supervised learning with ID data. Okay. Uh, so yeah, that's x one, y one, x two, uh, yeah. y two, x three, y three. Yes. And that's yeah. like this is a trillion, all right? X yes. trillion and y trillion. Okay, and the, my question was like, if you're only looking at the error here, then what like? Then at which step am I using the data in this part? All right, very good. So I have 20 networks there, right? Yes. Yes. And I, I try to minimize the, the error on F set. This is F. Okay, F set. This is F set, and uh -huh. this is the validation V. Yeah, yeah. And they look at the fitting error. If the fitting error is small enough or does not change much, mm -hmm. then they stop. Uh, so they let me see. So they update W based on the F fitting set, they update A based on F, yeah. And then they up. look at the error on and so on th F. these are back propagating and then look error on V um, or F. On F on F, not on F. F. On on F. F, yeah. And then if it's a small enough, uh, we can we're we just stop if it's then not. Then we stop. Then we stop. Yeah. Then we start to pick up the called the post selection because this fitting F is the fitting stage. And this is the first stage of training. Then okay. the second stage of training is looking at V. Okay. Uh, error on V. Mm -hmm. right, so this is one among the two iteration. Yeah, among the 20, uh -huh. you pick up the luckiest one on V. On v. Yes. So, so iteration did not use V here. Okay. But iteration. The, the post selection used V. Okay. Okay. The, this is kind of like what Suplerner is doing, right? Yeah, yeah, right. Very similar. Okay. Very similar. 
So then, super, it's very similar to uh, to super learning, but super that, learning uh, yeah. including cross validation. Cross, yeah, it's just that you're not using cross validation, but I think yeah. it's okay. You just uh, you don't have that much precision, but it's uh, I think it's theoretically you can still justify that. It's not, I, I shouldn't say I, I should take those words back. I mean, it's the the results we have for this procedure should be very similar to what we have for super learner. I should say that. Agree. I agree. Yeah, okay. that's good. Okay, that's good. All right. So, so now you have twenty networks here. And you pick the luckiest one, mm -hmm. um, say uh, V5, okay. Uh, okay. CNN5. CNN5 okay. is the is the luckiest one on V. Mm -hmm. CNN5. Okay. Uh, argman. Error on um, error K on V. Okay. On V. Yeah. Yeah. So then k equals to five. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, then they they did not say that same thing as is discussed. They did not have a new test. That's a problem. Okay. Number okay. one problem, absence of test. Because okay. why? Yes. Because the v yeah. they try to mislead you. V is a test. No, v is not a test yeah. because v is used for post selection. Yes. Yes. So when you say they try to mislead you, like what is the the claim they're they're making? The claim was that, wrong. Right? They didn't never say that. So, so when I do post selection, they don't use the post selection. They yeah. said that when I do the the report, given the investigation mm -hmm. or do the experiment, all the twenty networks first see V for the first time. That's the misleading word. Because uh, the funding network CV for the first time. Yeah, but then K and, hat, it's <laughs> yeah, this one but, sees twice. But CV first time, but who picked it up, right? Right. The, 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 the guy that picked up five mm -hmm. is based on result on V. Yes, yes. That's not uh, testing. That's not testing. Right. That's that, part of training. You want to come up with one net. Okay. So can I say that the the particular part that's mis like are they claim so uh, can I say that the particular misleading statement is like look our our method is great because the one we chose here has a test error, quote unquote test error that's super small. So that's give example why. that give example uh in the MNIST data set say mm -hmm. the percentage is 0 0.23. All right, give mm -hmm. example. I can make it up. So 0 mm -hmm. 0.23 percent. That's that's only just uh, about uh, 30 uh, mistakes out of 2000, mm -hmm. give example, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. right. At 2000, it's very low. So mm -hmm. um and that number is getting lower and lower. And I tell you, mm -hmm. I have a new snippet, new neighbor method, P G N N. That give you zero. I guarantee yeah. give you zero. Yes. Yes. Right? Yes. Because I have a, a this yes. point is very big. Huh? Yeah. Because you can wait as long as you want and have as many yes. network as one. Mm -hmm. And I guarantee I prove. Mm -hmm. Yes. Completely mm -hmm. one. I have this one. This may be a large number, but the error, uh, the minimum value is zero. Zero on V. I have a post selection yes. error zero. Mm. Yes. I beat everybody from mm. from the authors. Every mm. paper, I guarantee mm. zero. Mm -hmm. But yes. I when I'm doing this misconduct protocol, I did not have a new test because my luckiest one that has a zero on V, we have a, a much larger error on T, a new test T. Yeah. And here there's no test T. Yes, and my right. position is that the luckiest network on V will perform roughly on average of the all, say, one million networks, uh, one million networks. And it's very close to average if you have a new T. That's my my reasoning in the paper. Okay. Um, on average. So, 
uh so first that so that's a hypothesis right it's a hypothesis that i proved the, the based on statistics uh, this is equation eight i said that the 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 minimum variance estimate what could i switch to that paper yes. yeah sure okay thank you so let's uh um let's get to the uh the by the way that paper was uh was rejected by uh respected the archive huh? so this paper the title is uh is deep learning um, fraudulent in statistics. This paper is the third paper about deep learning. And the first is uh, misleading, second is uh, misconduct, the third one is fraudulent, because I feel that my arguments get more clear and supported by legal definition of fraudulent. And the statistics, this paper is talking about the many statistics and I, I'm happy that um, 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 Dr. Chu is with me, and uh, I I discussed with him um, about the the paper that was rejected. Um, currently, is under appeal and the third appeal already. I like to thank um, uh, Lee Giles. Uh, Lee Giles for uh, for uh, he never contacted me directly, and I believe that he was interacting with the. Uh, with the um, uh, moderators, um, because moderators get back to me, and um, this is the uh, the third appeal. So suppose we have an error. Um, that the neural network with architecture A and the weights uh, uh, W, and uh, um, the error is uh, is measured um, in a, a, a set. Um, this is the fitting error, all right? It, if you use F, is the fitting error, and uh, then we assume this error is the expectation in terms of the all the sample in fitting set, and uh, we measure the error of the output. I use Z for the output, all right? I use Y as the internal representation, all right? And I have X, Z, and Y is inside the network, and from network A, W, and the fitting set. Then uh, um, that's a little review about the probability. And suppose you have a density with uh, um, with error because error is random. Uh, then the, the theta is the parameters of distribution and the distribution of the error. And the theta is the uh, vector um, of parameter of the distribution then the probability for error larger or uh, smaller than x is called the integration of the density function. We call the distribution. Uh, this dis distribution function um, well known um, in statistics and probability. Uh, uh, I have a question. Yeah. Yes. So are you uh, assuming that the error distribution follows a parametric distribution here, or it's just very good or you question. can allow theta to be infinite dimensional. Yeah, the very good question because in in engineering, the dimension of theta could be huge and unbounded, but for mm -hmm. a particular experiment, that dimensionality of n of theta is always could be like for W dimension is uh, sixty million. Oh. Oh uh, wait, uh you're saying this theta wait, theta is the parameter of your network. Yeah, this is like oh, weight okay. and architecture. So oh, this okay. is like oh, okay. an example I, I that, I, that I quoted. Okay. I quoted dimensionality of its W inside the theta is 60 million. And uh, parameter A could be a few hundred, typically. So it's a few hundred times 60 million. That's the dimensionality of uh, capital theta. All right, huge, huge. Um, that's very difficult from from like a t test or f test. You know that t test only one parameter, whatever whatever we are estimating. And right now we are talking about the billions, billions of parameters. Then um, then we were talking about this one is what we talked about. I I update my notation here. Uh, 
So suppose we do expectation of theta because theta could be random, right? And the mm -hmm. test set or could be validation set or fitting set. And we also assume that this is random, all right? Yeah. This is like teaching data, all right? X and uh, uh, Y in our previous case and my rotation X, Z, uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, X, Z. And then we do error. This error is doing expectation. You, we want to report that one actually. Uh, so, uh, pause on a second. Why should I be interested in this one? Why should I be interested in uh, theta completely randomly drawn from that distribution? Very good question. Uh, you, you ask this good question. And I, mm -hmm. I ask question to myself and I also talk, talk to others. Mm -hmm. And that needs to be answered later. But just okay. at the beginning, I'd like to say okay. that. Suppose okay. I have intelligent method, all right? I have an energy. Huh? Mm -hmm. So this is my lottery ticket. And this is my lottery draw, mm -hmm. all right? So I have a method that, that give an outcome of E using many, many lottery tickets for this week's draw. And I end up with this one is the luckiest seed that give me $1 million, all right? So my error is uh, uh, very good because I have $1 million. And, uh, and uh, so then I will ask, how many seeds have you tried? I tried 2 million lottery tickets. And uh, this week, I get $1 million back. Do I have intelligent method to win lottery? No because I, on average, I lost half of my investment. I'll repeat again, this is my lottery ticket. This is draw. Every week we have lottery draw. Suppose every week we have draw. In fact, there are some places one month, every month they have a draw. That's a test. For okay. application, then for application, suppose I'm a big company. I don't want to mention that company's name. Suppose I have a method that I five fold, all right? Sorry, I have to, I already leaked out, all right? It's a, it's a word in my term, I leaked that out. Suppose I have I five fold, and I have a many, many random initial guess here, and I do I five fold, and I use this test, say, uh, a particular molecule, say E. coli, all right? So I do E. coli test, then I have a particular network that gives the E. coli test um, error is better than millions of networks. And I report E. coli test error to be 10%. So I said, all right, I find a new drug that a particular CETA that give you only 10% error on E. coli. E. coli is a bacteria in the body, all right? Uh, and uh, that's a, 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 a prediction of, uh, of, uh, um, of the, uh, the, uh, the protein folding, basically. You probably, uh, that's more related to your field. And I, I learned biology, but when I learned it, it's already too late. I'm, I'm over 50 at that time. So now I have another uh, uh, protein, all right? Another protein, you have to learn the same procedure again. And the worst thing is that you never had a new protein. That's the problem. And that's my position. You never have generalization for making up another protein that does not exist. You have only the verification, have an existing protein, and you can only compare the score manually before we have a manual uh, error, all right? So manual score, and you can compare the previous traditional manual score on the same protein we already had. So many people said, oh, this alpha folding is uh, discover new drugs. No, 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 you never discover new drugs. You just change the ranking of error on particular 
known protein. You never discover new protein. You never discover new protein. This method only give new data E for existing T. You never new discover any new T. That's a, that's another position. That's what I meant for generalizable, but my, when I discuss with you, I said generalization is more specific and I would discuss next. So that's my position. Why is this when you are asking why is this one is reasonable? That's uh, practical. Uh, but I mean, it's possible that the one that gave a very good performance in the validation set, mm. I mean, the, that luckiest one, luckiest data mm. is actually the, the magic recipe. So basically you, you want to use that data in the future. And then what you're interested in would not treat theta as random. Okay, okay. Now I got your point. And I have asked myself, this is a very good question. I think that's why you want to ask Kika. Yeah. Suppose I have this person, John, that has a cancer. And I have a drug, this lucky drug that did well on John on the cancer. And the, the renting is pretty lucky one. And I tried billions of drugs. And this particular drug worked on John and cured him, right? But this one must be random. You cannot just work on John. You have to look at the Joe. You have to talk to Sally. You have to talk about the uh, Robert. Yes. And all those will not act the same as John. That's my position. Right. Yes. Yes. So. Yeah, so basically my question was like, uh, do we need to do the expectation over theta? And I totally agree that you should treat T as random. Yeah. You're random, all right. Yes. So T what about theta? Mm -hmm. so what about theta? You said that maybe I was asking myself, you know, mm -hmm. um, you found it, so what? You know, yeah. I, I don't care how much resource you spend on finding mm -hmm. it, and mm -hmm. I found it, right? Right. I found it. You should have a T yeah. for sure. You agree with that. We yeah. do not have a problem. Yeah. The problem is that we need to do expectation on theta. Right. Spend your view, say that you don't need it. Then I, I try to uh, uh, reason with you. Okay. If I don't need, if I just, take that luckiest data, then what I want to do is something like this. I just don't treat theta as random, mm. or conditional on the theta I pick. Mm. Then I would be interested in the test error perform the performance of the luckiest one I picked mm -hmm. on, on the test data set. Mm -hmm. So in that case, what I want what I basically have to do is that I collect a new independent test data set and then evaluate the uh like one over n like one to like i equals one to n on the test data set basically. Mm -hmm. On that on the one that I picked, maybe the hat I call it on test data set. Mm -hmm. And use that as my estimator. So because when you, uh, because you suggested taking the average over all the theta mm -hmm. you predict you got, and I was saying that that might not always be the most reasonable thing to do. So you, you say okay. that might not be of interest, right? Yes. You think yes. that yes. the email said it yes. might not be the of interest, right? Yeah. Right. Very good. And I, in fact, I asked many times myself, you know, how do I explain it? All right. Mm -hmm. So, so this particular thing that what I did is that, um, even up later on, we talked to V, right? Yes. So, I mean, if, if you are interested so in only this. Thing, only thing you, you can have is here is V. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
if you don't expect teaching on theta, mm -hmm. then you won't be able to do a new test that you don't have. That's part. right. The luckiest right. one you have right now mm -hmm. is very good on V because the luckiest mm -hmm. theta is from that static V. Mm -hmm. And then you have very optimistic E here. Yes. But the, our purpose is for a new T. Yes. The new T, the luckiest one, on the new T, you must do expectation so that the new T will be close to the expected with respect to theta. That's my theory here. Uh, with... I said again, I, I repeat again. So what I want is that you want to minimize this expectation, the predicted error on the, uh, this is the real error, right? Mm -hmm. Real error for the future, for the real application deployment. Right. Uh, are you are you conditioning on theta? Are, so are you doing this? No, no, or... it's not. It's not. Okay. okay. So this is my uh, uh, AI method. Okay. AI method that report the error head. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh -huh. This error is the real world error. Uh -huh. On the same model. Uh, on the no, same this, this is new model. This is model three. This is model. Uh, no, no. I mean on this on the same neural network that you've picked. This area is the deployment. It's like I want to apply R5 fold on uh -huh. the real world. Yes. So the real error. Mm -hmm. And we don't okay. know the dimensionality. Sure. We don't know the yeah. distribution. It's a, sure. Sure. It's, a, it's a real world. We don't know distribution mm -hmm. and don't know the dimensionality. That's mm -hmm. a real world error mm -hmm. yeah. right? for, for a particular domain. Mm -hmm. That's my predictor with the head. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I'll give you the error head. Mm -hmm. And I want to see on average how your predictor work in the view situation. That's expectation. Mm -hmm. And I want to minimize that square error. The mm -hmm. mean square error. Or mean variance. This is variance. Mm -hmm. Expectation is variance. And, uh, mean squared error. It's mean yeah, square mean error. square error. Mean square error. And I, this is the mean, right? This is the square. Mm -hmm. And I do definition based on definition. That's the that's the probability because theta is randomly picked. Theta is randomly picked in the neural network. No, but but I mean, it, you cherry picked one at the final stage. You paid the luckiest one. Yes, I said my position. Yes. First. Okay. Then okay. I sorry. Said, sorry. Sorry. Then okay. I go back. Go why? Okay. Why okay. it's okay. not? It's not reasonable. All right. So suppose I do this. I say I train. This is like um say one trillion. All right. I I equals to one to one trillion. From one to one trillion, and I I with one trillion parameters. And uh, this is my last week's draw. Last week's draw, all right? That's my validation set because the last validation is last week lottery draw. And I want to minimize the error. My error is 0.23% or what? I want to minimize the reported error with the with the network error and uh, based on how many I tried, I tried to win trillion, right? This is a probability. Suppose I assume that every net every network has an equal probability for me to pick it up to try, then this is one over one trillion. One over one trillion. Then you end up with average. You add with average error of uh, uh, one trillion networks on, on the last validation set. Now you don't like it, but that's my my theory said so that that minimize the variance. That's my best performance evaluation. All right, you don't like it, but I will go yeah. back again. 
All right. Yeah. Okay. You say that, oh, wait, 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 wait. I have a theta five here. All right. Mm. Right. I have a theta five here, and I don't want this one trillion garbage. That's garbage. That's bad data. Mm -hmm. I want to discard it. Mm -hmm. I want this theta five. Theta five, this error is only one to five percent. Right? Right. Five percent from the V. Right? Right. But then this does not equal to this because this right. is included new T. Yes. But a new T, you cannot look at the V. That's what right. you agreed on. You must have a yes. T. Yes. And that can minimize means that for future T that you don't have. I use the term in my paper, it's not in the possession of the authors. T is not in the possession of the authors, but V is in the possession of the authors. That's a problem. Mm -hmm. V is in the possession of the possession of the author. And is, is also always iterate on the V because V mm -hmm. is a leaked exam. V is a leaked exam and not the real exam. Real exam is T. That's yeah. less weak. Did I explain that well? I'm not sure though. Yes. <laughs> That's a probability. Um, mm -hmm. And those people that have not learned poverty will not be able to really say yes, and you said yes, because we understand poverty. That's why you agreed it. There's no test, because luckiest mm -hmm. cannot, luckiest on V to really put it on the T, on the future T. And uh, if look at the probability, and the best it can do is expectation. Because it's a just random sample in the one trillion parameter space. It's just one sample. Because V and T is random from the same distribution. And some reviewers said, that, no, no, no. I'm not criticizing from the same distribution. I accept that V and T are from the same distribution. But V is in the position of the author, T is not. That's the issue. And we have to rely on the probability theory. Probability theory that, that already proved the, the E bar, E hat that minimize that one is E bar. Must use average, whether you like it or not. Because you are doing that on V, and no matter how many, this N is one trillion, you have to use average, which is this one, and you cannot just pick the luckiest one because you have to face a new test. V is in the possession of you. You can talk about luckiest one. T is not in the possession of you. You don't have luckiest one. It's possible that one, one of them is just better than the other on the test data set. All right, oh, very good question. And you're an expert, that's why you ask a question, and if I, I talk to anybody else, so probably I won't, won't be able to get this kind of good question. All right, so you said that, how do you know the luckiest one and the worst one on V will perform the same on the future T? Right? Right. 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 Good question, all right? And every time you test the, the both, uh, the luckiest one and the worst one on T, they will have different errors. Mm -hmm. And uh, in this particular paper, I have an example. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, they may switch. And maybe luckiest okay. one is better than the worst one on T. Mm -hmm. Or for another T, they may switch. Right. Okay, but, but let's say you have infinite amount of data t. Yeah, so that, suppose you have infinite the amount of t, t, then in the absence of a further information, uh, it's very important, all right, because mm -hmm. we, we want to do mathematical reasoning, we always have a condition. Mm -hmm. In the absence of a further information, 
And uh, based on the theory of minimum variance estimator, on expectation, the expected error of luckiest one and the worst one on the future t is the same in no, the absence are. of a future information. It is in the absence of future information, but yeah, you can, because we, I we don't know to, how, you, how you get that. You know, I'm not talking about we have a brain, right? Like, I mean, I have two neural networks. One is just giving me a constant prediction. The other one is doing something more complicated. And the, the constant one is doing is the worst one. And that one, the more complicated one is doing better on the validation set. Then how can you say they are performing the same in the test data set? I go back to the, uh, yeah. so right now, we have a, a divide all available data to to fitting set, validation set T. Do you see that better? I, I make it uh, bigger. You, you can make, make, yeah, it bigger. I can make it bigger. 